Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we'll be taking a look at installing an unofficial build of Lineage OS 18 which is based off Android 11 for our Pixel 1. They have builds for the small version and the big version so Sailfish and Marlin and all you need to have is pretty much an unlocked bootloader and if you've already rooted your device before uh, you already have done that but if not you can check out this video right here and that will show you how to unlock the bootloader and once you've done that you can come back here and we'll install the ROM. So there are a few things we need to download and first off is the SDK platform tools and as I mentioned before if you've rooted your phone before or you've flashed a ROM before you probably already have this somewhere uh, but it wouldn't hurt to make sure you got the latest version. You can see the versions down here but uh, if you don't have it or you're not sure click on the uh, link for your operating system read and agree with the terms and conditions and then click on the blue download button. I'm going to save everything into one folder just to make sure we have everything organized and you can click on that to download it. The next thing we want of course is the ROM itself and here it is there's a build that was released just a few weeks ago at the beginning of October. Uh, there hasn't been any updates since but hopefully we will see some come out later on. So there are a few things that don't work. I've heard that the Wi-Fi hotspot doesn't work and uh, there are a few things here such as SE Linux is set to permissive and also no I guess on device encryption for your data partition uh, which is all right I guess and here are the instructions but I guess more importantly here are the builds and currently you can just download the one for your device that you have so Sailfish is the small one so just a regular Pixel 1 and Marlin is the Pixel 1 XL and here's a zip file all you have to do is just click on uh, download here at the top right and just save that into the same folder as the platform tools and then you also need the latest version of TWRP. I won't be installing it because actually I don't think it can be installed. But whenever I install it, it just doesn't boot up into TWRP. But that's all right. So we'll just use the image file here. So version 3.4, make sure you grab the image and then click on this link to download the image and just save it in the same folder as everything else. And we'll also look at rooting our phone. Uh, I think we'll do it after we flash the ROM first. Uh, but this is just magic and we can flash this through TWRP. You need to download the latest beta version or at least any version that is greater than version 21 or above as 21 supports Android 11 so I have this downloaded here. It will take you to the release page and just click on the zip file and just save that somewhere as well and see I have everything saved here about four files that we need and uh, we can get started on installing it. So why don't we open up the platform tools here and extract the platform tools folder outside if you already have this somewhere you can reuse your old files or old installation as long as they're not too old. Okie dokie we can close this. Let's open this folder and we need to open up a command prompt window or a terminal window here in order to use these programs. So a quick shortcut for Windows users we can go up to the address bar and actually type in cmd and that'll open up a command prompt window with the directory already changed to the platform tools so we don't have to do any of that change directory kind of stuff. And once you have that open, you can go back to the Android folder and uh, we'll just have it kind of like split screen like this. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is uh, actually back up everything that you might need because we will be wiping our internal storage when we install this ROM. But once you have everything sorted out, all you need to do is reboot your phone into either TWRP, but maybe you don't have that installed. So I'm going to reboot into the bootloader and then I'm going to boot off that TWRP image that we downloaded earlier. So I'm going to hit power off and unplug the device and I'm going to boot into the bootloader by holding power and volume down together. Just hold that for a few seconds and you should get into the bootloader eventually. Okay there we go and just plug it back in, plug in your device and there we go. So let's boot up the TWRP image onto our device here. So in the command prompt window let's type in fastboot devices first. So fastboot devices just to make sure our phone is connected and it is and we can move on to typing in fastboot boot Leave a space after the word boot and drag in the TWRP image. Now for whatever reason you're not allowed to drag in the image here, you can actually hold shift and right click on the image that you need or the file that you need. And you can copy the path, so there's a copy as path here. And if I just get rid of what I just put in, you can right click on your command prompt window and it'll paste in the location of the file that you need. And once you've done that, you can hit enter and our phone after a few seconds should boot into TWRP. Okay, so you may be asked to decrypt your data, that is fine. This version of TWRP should be able to handle most encryption methods. So I'll just put in my pattern here and it should mount the data partition. And if you can't do this, it doesn't really matter because we'll be wiping the device anyways. So first off, we need to wipe our device as per instructions. So we'll go to wipe here 
and it tells us to format data. So we'll tap on format data, we will type in yes, and this will wipe everything on your internal storage. That's fine, you can ignore those two errors down there. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to just swipe to factory reset as well, just to make sure. And now I'm going to go back and back again to the main menu. Then we'll need to sideload the ROM that we downloaded on our computer. Uh, alternatively, you can actually copy it to your device and flash it like that. But since we've got everything open anyways, might as well go to advanced and then go to ADB sideload. You can leave those options unchecked, swipe to start the sideload feature. And then on your computer here in the command prompt again, we can type in ADB sideload, leave a space after the word sideload, and then drag in the Lineage 18 uh, zip file and hit enter. And this will pretty much stream this zip file onto our phone and it will start to install the ROM on our phone. Alrighty, so we're finished flashing the ROM here and it says to flash additional zips, reboot the recovery for the updated slot to take effect. But we don't need that right now. This also comes with Google Apps pre-installed. I think it was just the Play Store last time I checked it out. But anyways, we'll reboot our system now and we should swap over to the A slot and it should also boot into Lineage OS. So surely we should see the boot animation for it and that's how we know we're on the right track. Okay, that's a good sign. So we'll wait for our phone to boot up and we'll take a quick look. Okay, so we just finished booting up and there it is, pretty cool. Uh, so you go through the usual setup and I will just magically skip this. And here we go. Oh, my bad, I think those are the Google um, messages and phone app, but you can see the Play Store is there. And there's a very minimal set of apps as well, which is fantastic. And there's also the Contacts app. Anyways, here it is, Android 11. So I guess we can check out the uh, Easter egg it should be the cats, but, oh well, here it also says Android 11 here. There it is, crank it up to 11. I think this runs quite smoothly, of course, I haven't really installed anything onto it, and we'll go ahead and install Magisk onto it. So, let's reboot our phone into the bootloader, and uh, I'll restart this time and just hold volume down when the phone turns off. Okay, we're in, and I'm going to run the same command we did earlier to boot the TWRP image, and so we'll type in fastboot boot, Leave a space after boot and drag in the TWRP image. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to hit enter. We're going to boot into TWRP and we're going to sideload Magisk. So go to advanced, ADB sideload and swipe to start that. And here we can type in ADB sideload, drag in the Magisk zip file and hit enter. You can see it doing its stuff there, looks all right. Okay, so it looks like it's gone through quite all right here. And let's reboot our system and we'll find out if it has installed itself. And I'll also connect to the internet. And from there, we can just have a little look around. I know that most of the tweaks don't actually work, um, but I'm sure they'll work on that later on. Probably the least important things. But hopefully they get some of the other bugs worked out like the hotspot issue and also those other things that they mentioned on the thread. Okay, so I've just connected to the internet. Uh, so we know that Wi-Fi works at least. Let's open up Magisk Manager. And yep, we're installed here, it's great. Uh, we can update Magisk Manager while we're at it. That's pretty good, so we're rooted here on Android 11, which is nice. And I guess you can set up the rest of the device as you like. Uh, so if we go to System and then the, I guess, status bar, things like that. Some things haven't been implemented yet, uh, unfortunately, but that's all right. The clock works, which is nice, and the AM, PM doesn't. But so yeah, there are a few things that still need tidying up and you know ironing out, but this of course is an unofficial build and it's still quite early. So there we are, this is Android 11 running on the Pixel 1 thanks to Lineage OS 18. Even though it's an unofficial build, it seems quite smooth to the touch so far, not very jank or laggy, um, as we've seen with other devices that haven't aged quite as well. But this is awesome, so huge props to the developers out there working on this, and I hope to see more Android 11 ROMs for more devices, and of course, um, yeah, being able to breathe new life into our older phones to be, you know, right on top of the latest software, along with phones from today, which is pretty awesome. So there we are. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, feel free to join us on Discord. Uh, we'd be happy to chat there and help if you need any, and as always, happy flashing.